Good morning, beautiful people. Happy Sunday. It's me back with another hat video. Oh my goodness, I went to Michael's today and I they had them 40% off, so I had to buy. This is a new one. Hilarious. Anyways, oh, it's tight on my head. So with that being said, we only have Wednesday and Friday. Two more days of crazy hats. So anyways, like I said, I went to Michael's this morning and I found a couple of things. Normally I don't spend money and you're all going to laugh at that. But I went there with a mission. I was trying to figure out different things that I could put in my coasters that was not glitter because I love the glitter in the centerpieces. I love the glitter, but it dispenses so much that... I don't even put it in anymore because I don't want to ruin them. With me doing crocheting and stuff, hats and everything, I had these buttons. I don't know if you can see them. But these are so pretty. These are real metal and they're, they cost me quite a bit to buy them. Now these ones are plastic, but I thought these would be cute in the center. So I went to Michael's and, oh my goodness, I'm going to show you what I found. These, they had them in the scrapbooking section. They had these. They had these. And then they had these in different, if you can see them, sorry, focusing in different sizes. So my thought was that they would be really cute. Now they're plastic, but you put plastic in resin. So, um, I'm going to show you what I was thinking. Oops. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. So I was thinking that would be cute. You would, it would sit. Oh, I don't want to put it on there. It would kind of sit like this uh, inside the coaster. And I think that'd be cool. So we're going to try that with the next set that I make. So, yes. So with that being said, I'm hoping everyone's having a happy Sunday and hope all of your, you got most of your Christmas stuff done because I've got a couple of little things left to, to pick up. Just those food things that you don't like to buy too early. So other than that, I am completely done, which is amazing. And I bought these two brushes today as well. Oh, this one was 20. This one was 12.99. Bottom at Michaels. These are actually they're called mop brushes. And they are meant to do blending. The one that I had purchased before, it's not an actual mop brush. This one is just a jumbo flat brush. But it did quite a bit of the blending, which you've seen in the other video. So when I saw these, I picked these up today. Because today's video is going to be this lovely girl. Sorry, I heard a noise and I just thought in my head the painting fell. So this girl, we're going to do this today. And we're going to do it in a couple parts. What we'll do today is we will paint the colors, which I'm going to be using my new brushes. We will possibly put the flowers on. I'm not sure if I want to wait till it dries and then put the flowers on or put the flowers on when they're wet. Big decision. And when we're done with the flowers, we will let them dry. And of course, we're going to put some glitter and some glass in there. We have to have it a bling Sunday, right? Our last bling before Christmas. 
So with that, oh, I got two more things I bought. I have to show you. I bought these. I have been watching, is it Sandra Lett? I'll have to double check. And she was using these in her resins and all that fun stuff. So I bought some of those thinking I'd try. And also Michael's had these on clearance. I don't know why they label things this way. I can't even read it. I had to have the girl in the store tell me what it was because it wasn't, I couldn't even read what they were. They were normally $10.99. They had them on for two bucks. They were getting rid of them. And they're called glitter paste. Never heard of it. Don't know if I can use it in my resin. I was thinking I could use it in the resin, but I have a feeling I can't. So I've been looking it up to see what I can use it with. But anyways, so I bought them. One was Fire Opal. One is Sugar Light. They're very pretty colors. I love the Fire Opal. So anyways, with that being said, I am going to um, get everything together. I'll bring you down and we will start painting. I'll see you guys in a minute. Hello, beautiful people. We are back. I tried to make this video yesterday. It took me forever. I started uploading the video. It was an hour and a half. So this is what I did yesterday, but we're gonna redo it so that it's not an hour and a half. I learned from the first one. So with that being said, this is a 10 by 20, just regular canvas. I've got it prepped. I've got it on my push pins. And I'm using the Liquid X Basics Titanium White. We are going to use um, Artist Loft Level 2 Permanent Magenta. We are going to use um, Grumbrucker's Persian Blue. And we're going to use Pebio Studios um, Primary Yellow. All right. So with that, I want to do a little bit, not center, so I'm going to go a little higher. And I was going to put it on my my um, little plate, but I'm just going to put it right on the canvas. So I'm going to squirt a bead. There we go. And I'll put my lid back on there. Being I've already got the paint in this one, I've got to find my little tools. I'm going to place some of it here. Oh, that's a lot. That's a lot. And this is exactly what kept happening to the video yesterday. Everything I went to do went wrong. But this can be rectified. That is fine because we're blending it all out. That is hilarious. And the blue. I'm just gonna bring it this way. There. See? This is what happened with everything in that video yesterday. I swear my channel is like a comedic channel as opposed an art channel. So anyways, that being said, I am taking my white. I'm going down in the corner. I'm just using my, this is a number one, uh, just a flat brush. I'm just gonna load my paint and start in the corner and there's a loose one just to kind of get the canvas going a little bit more and i'm going to grab some of that blue your way up. And then what I did was, I'm just going to squirt a little bit of this yellow on my little plate here. 
I'm hoping you see that. Yeah. Okay. And I'm going to pick up a little bit of the yellow to do a little, just a little bit of green. And then this, we're going to pick up, kind of lay it down, and drag it. You want to go almost parallel. You want that nice deep color in there. All right, I'm just going to brush this off a little bit on my thing. And here we go. We're just going to blend. Crisscross, and down we go. Pick up white again, a lot of it, and we're going to do the middle. It's going to be blue first, but magenta will come in. And you want to try to get the edging. This is what I was doing because I was playing too much. You kind of want to be quick. A little bit more white. And then your blends will go better. Come over so you get the whole edging. And work your way up. And again with this, bring. And we'll go. I'm going to wipe off. You can use paper towel. I'm just using the puppy pad. And then we're going to blend. And then we're going to lay parallel again and drag down some of that color. Perfecto. I'm going to rub that off again. And I'm going to use my new brush and blend this in here. So you want it dry. Do you see that? And that was my issue yesterday. Light, 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 and no paint. I'm going to bring this back down. I'm going to try to do this. And again, this is going to get covered. See, this is what I was doing. I kept playing. All right. More white. We got to work quick. And we're going to get this on the side. Just crisscross. Just to lay down some paint there so it's and grab some yellow. And you want to make sure you get the edging from one. turned out beautifully okay now I'm going to try and lay a little thicker of the yellow perfect now we're just gonna blend in here oh that one's perfect oh my goodness we're gonna flip her over see perfecto and do the same thing. We'll start with the blue again. 
Now this one, this side, because it's a little shorter, you don't need it. I found it was turning out better. And the edging, you can come back and paint it later because I'm finding that I'm going to dip my paint into the blue. Bring this down. I was finding that um, it was a little, uh, I lost train of thought. It would be easier to paint it one solid color after. This is what I was thinking because as I'm doing this, you're wish washing over the edging of it. So, and bring down. Brush this off. <sighs> this is so funny. Done. All right. Into the next color. We're going to do some more white. And I think this is going to be so pretty. Now that I got a whole bunch of them, I could take them to my my cousin's shop. <laughs> too funny all right we're gonna and because it's not as long I found on this side I was getting too much paint down here so it wasn't the nice blended at the bottom so we'll work our way down like this get that piece together and like you said you're gonna bring some flowers on top of this so I'm going to brush that off a little because I don't want to lose that. Blend it in between. There we go. And let's get this. There's a lot of paint on there. it off and then try and blend this out a little better <sighs> and then this way just light 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 there actually I think that's perfect and get a lot of that paint out and a lot of white and we'll do this last corner and here we go touch the yellow sideways just to get that blended bit between and then we're gonna blend that in <sighs> oh my goodness Sherry I'm 
I'm just going to bring some more white in there so it's not so much of that purple. And try and blend this. There we go. And get some yellow and drag it down. We have our base. Oh my goodness, that took me an hour yesterday. Too much fuss button. Okay, so with that being said, doesn't look too bad. Now, with, I think we're gonna just go right on top because yesterday I let it dry and I'll show you the difference. I let it dry yesterday and the flowers are just completely, I'm gonna bring it this way, the flowers are just completely white. Is where, when I did it on top, you see you get the color because the paint is still wet. So, we're gonna do it that way today. And all I'm using is white. Actually, white, and my Filbert, Filbert brush, this one is a size 16. And all you do is, where's my little paper I was showing you guys yesterday on this paper. I am using, we'll just, we'll just use one. I'm going to dip it into the pink. Load your brush really good. And basically it was standing up, press down hard, not hard, but press down and then bring it up. Flip it, because you're double-sided on that paint, down and bring it up. Down and up. Down and up. So that's all I did. And with the leaves, it's basically the same thing. And you can bring your, on the chisel edge of your brush, bring it like this and you can draw little lines. You can do it like this. You can even do it like this and do a little twist. So there's all kinds of options there. You just gotta learn to play with your brushes and that will help you out a lot actually it's more so a technique of learning what the brush can do for you right because a lot of these techniques it looks so hard and again like it takes practice not everybody can do it right so i'm just gonna wash out this this brush is so old that white one all right, I am going to, might as well just use up what's got here. I want to take my biggest brush, which is the 16, because I have four of them. And we're just going to go for it. Some white. Actually, what I'm going to do, I had you nice and close yesterday. So I am going to bring you down, hopefully, without putting you right into the painting. Bring you down, bring you down. I'm gonna sit down. And we will paint. Okay. There we go. I think this is better for you guys. You get a better look. You get to see better. Okay. So, I am going to just load up my paint. I'm gonna show you. Don't go, see where that little drip is? Do not go past that in your bristles because then you get way, way too high and you can possibly ruin your, your um, paintbrush. So, uh, we will start with the blue and we're gonna start kind of right about here. We're gonna do a nice big one. We're gonna put it down, we're gonna push 
and we're gonna bring it up down push bring it up see this is nice I like this idea because you're um, you're getting a little bit of a texture on the flower and I'm gonna work on the side I'm not gonna clean my brush because I'm keeping up with the blue we're gonna push and up down and up Just wipe that little bit of the pink because we don't want too much of the pink in there and I'm gonna pick it up guys so I can get it at the right angle and we're gonna go there down and up. I like ugh, as I put my finger right in I like that actually better we're gonna proceed down this way we are gonna go what we do yeah we're just gonna do some half flowers here we're gonna go down and up down and up I'm gonna come with some smaller one this is my eight inch eight inch number eight I don't know and we're just gonna go like this oh wrong way down and in and actually we'll bring some this way and this way there just gonna brush it out a little bit and come back with the smallest one this one is a 10 oh, that's weird 10 8 I thought I had a smaller one same thing we're gonna load and we're just gonna actually I'm gonna do leaves here so here we're just gonna do a small one here we're gonna start and push down and up down and up and load again sorry I'm not showing you properly load and always turn your work. If you cannot get it properly, turn it down and up. Down and up. I love the puppy pads. They worked when I was told Peyton. We just were using paper towel. And we will do one more here sorry I'm gonna turn it so I can one and up perfecto all right so I'm gonna wipe this out a little bit and we're gonna proceed with the big one and we're gonna do the flowers here on the pink side and because I want to start on the top area. We will go here, down, and up. Down, and up. And again, wipe off the excess of that color because you want the white to be more dominant. And we will go here and up, here and up, and again I'm going to flip it so I can get at it better. And up. 
we're gonna fix that little guy we're gonna put something here and again I'm gonna come back and we are going to let this dry and we're gonna put some bling on it we're just gonna do some little petals in here fix this guy up there I think here up. Up. I want it to cascade just a little bit in the center and there we go and I'm going to just do just a bunch of little Oh, I gotta bring you this way so I can do it properly. I want it to cascade down just a little bit, so I'm gonna come up with just some petals and I'm gonna alternate them. Add some more paint. this guy up a little bit there we go and like I said it's all it's all an illusion right it's just a matter of so I'm gonna brush this guy out a little bit I haven't cleaned my brushes out but um, they're good enough to finish what I'm doing here so some more white And we're going to do a big one here. I'm going to go up. Up. One more petal in here. And up. Now I'm going to do a little bit more over on this side. And I think I'm going to be done with that one. Let's get some more white on this brush and we're just going to do oh I want it to go this way again sorry guys I keep we're going to go just a few petals down up down up and then one more up there Might do a few, come back with some green, but I might do some more here just to break up that. Oh my goodness, and the smaller the brush goes, I keep getting it way into the bristles. Okay, let's do. Actually, I'm going to leave that. I'll come in with some green, but we can do a little bit more here. Mm, let's see. There. And we will bring some green there. Um, because you can still play, I think I'm going to try and fix this. I'm going to bring some white. 
and we'll define this a little more. We'll go down and up. I don't know if that worked or not, but it is what it is there. All right, I'm going to put these in here because I'm going to use the smaller one and try to do some a little bit of green in there. And then we're going to let this sit and um, well, actually I guess I can use the same plate. I have this um, Pebio Studios. This one is Thalozine Emerald. I'm going to use that and just put in a few little dots of green um, my camera just turned off I don't know why anyways so we're just gonna go flat and stand and turn as you get closer and we're just gonna keep going with some little green leaves wherever you want some green down and I'm turning it in just so it gives it that nice little inward uh, I guess one more here and a little twist load up some more green I don't know. We may have to fix that one. Let's just come on the side. Actually, let's we'll load it again. I don't want to goof it. Up on its side and just do a squiggly and in. There we go. Up on its side and squiggly in in. We'll do oh my goodness, I don't want to goof it all up here. Up on its side, squiggly and in. And again, like I said, it's an illusion. It's all an illusion. On its side, I find that side's work. I find this method is working better. And then you can get a finer point to bring it in. Up, down, and up, down, and That one did not turn it. <laughs> Let's try and do this. Try and fix this one. There we go. Oh my goodness. I guess. Alright, that's with that. Now let's do my little liner. I'm loading my brush with some water and we're going to water this down a little bit because these ones work better when the paint is thin. 
thinner. And then you can, oops, I got something on the end of the brush. And then you can kind of come in and do, oh, let's go this way. Just, to, oh, what is on there? Start where you want it to do, and you can do like a little curly cue. want to make sure when you're when you're um, doing it you want to drag it and make sure the paintbrush is right tip is very straight we'll do it here and just do like a little vine do it in here just it just gives a little extra a little extra oomph oomph. We will bring it in here. You just, I don't know, wherever you want to go. You can clean up like this one as well, like you're basically drawing. <laughs> and let's just do a curvy cue. Oh my goodness, I gotta bring it so that I can, you can still see, good. There's so much paint there. All right, let's get. Bring it to a point again. I'll try and fix where, where there's mm -hmm. and that's it. So you can add as much or not as much put nothing really if you decide but this is where you can bring it in and customize it as much as you want <coughs> excuse me we're gonna bring in and we'll do one here just a little and like I said it doesn't have to be big ones just just enough to bring in some green bring some down here wet that a little bit and we'll fix that one down on the bottom and then I think that's going to be it let's just Very light, and I want to do a curly cue. There. And you can also come back and with the. Ugh, sorry, I keep putting my hand in the paint that's on my table. Take some white, water it down. Oh my god, there's so much paint on this brush. Let's just get it off. Put some more water in there. Water down the white. Make sure there's a point. And you can even come in and do a center line on your on your leaves. You see how that the center line on the leaves? If you want to, there we go. I might do that. I'm going to go through and put some little white lines down the leaves. 
and then we're going to come back and um, put some blink in the centers. I think that'll be pretty. And this towel's dry. There, and I think that's it. So, with that being said, I'm gonna leave it, let it dry, and then we will come back and put some bling on there. And I will see you guys in a little bit. Hello, we're back. Now we are adding our bling bling. I was thinking, and I've got blue to put in the middle. That's what I was thinking. So let's get all of this off. And we will let the magic begin. Let's get this off and then I can just shake off the... Now these are all of the um, colors that were left when I was doing the... Um, I'm just going to tilt this this way. It would be easier to get those off. Um, when I colored my own um, broken glass, I will link that in the description box, that video. So yeah, I think it turned out pretty cool. All right, so might not use the glitter, but I'm gonna see. I'm thinking maybe if I can do it properly with a little bit of the Mod Podge to um, maybe brush just a little, even, actually, I think I might do that first. Brush a little Mod Podge into the flowers. Oh my goodness. If I can open the Mod Podge bottle. I'm glad I have a small one. <laughs> I'm going to put a little bit on here. And we're just going to do a little bit on the leaves. I have my... Oh my goodness, all my brushes I took upstairs to clean. Let me just find one. I got another one over here. Um, just going to use the flat brush. And... We're just going to go just little bits at the base of the flowers. And I might do each flower as I'm going, just because. Now in the center, oh my goodness, sorry. I'm using my liquid glass, clear. And I'm gonna put a good dollop in the center of those flowers. So with that being said, we're going to put the broken glass in the center and I do not want it on the leaves because we're going to try and put the glitter there. So let's see if this will work. And Hopefully, this will work. And that's hilarious. 
it helps if you have it open. <gasps> Sherry. I'm just going to do my little up high and sprinkle. With that, because I don't want them to get mixed, I'm going to brush with a dry brush. This one's clean. I'm just going to move the yellow because it flew everywhere out of the way. Perfect. So I can get rid of the yellows. Now we will do the pink. some more of my Modge Podge and we are going to just go on to the base of the flowers. This might not turn out but you don't know unless you try. I can kind of see where it's wet and we're gonna do a little here a little on the tip a little bit here and a little here a little bit on this one and again just a little bit on that base I gotta get rid of this paintbrush. It's old. I don't know if you can see the. I got a a wonky. There we go. Now we will put our liquid glass in the center. Oh, a little bit much there. There. We will put our pink glass and that one I have a bit more than what I wanted. Okay. There we will take our pink glitter which I've just this is just Michael's no name in the kids section these are the ones I purchased for my my class I just need to, oh break the open thing there it is on this side oh my goodness Sherry Again, I'm just going to dip my fingers in it and go high and go down. I like this one. It's actually quite fine. Just around where all that Mod Podge is. And I do not want to get it on the other side where the yellow is. So now again, we're going to do this again. We're going to brush away all of this pink glitter out of the blue. This might be tedious, but it'll be worth it in the end. We're going to paint on these blue ones. I'm only going like halfway up. Yeah. 
hand. I'm excited. This will be pretty. Because now I have three of them. They could almost be a set. wonky little I'm either going to cut the bristles or throw out the brush it makes it hard to alright we will put our liquid glass in the center a little bit here there, I just want to going to put just maybe a little bit here. There. We will put our blue. It looks purple, but it is blue. I think it's pretty because it'll... in the center there we go come back with our blue glitter and I'm gonna do the same thing up high try and stay so that you're not putting blue into the pink flowers And I'm thinking would be nice to, um, you could probably even do a little bit on the green. So with that being said, I'm going to let this dry and we will come back in a few hours to shake, shake, shake. I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, we're back. It's dry. I'm excited because it actually all stayed. Yeah, there might be a little bit there that might... All right, puppy pad upside down. I do reuse all of this glitter and glass. And don't be surprised, it will come off. Well, there you go, my friends. I'm gonna bring you up. Hello. <laughs> and we'll give you a good show. That turned out amazing. Awesome. I love it. I think I will bling up the other two. And at the end of the video, I will put them all on my wall because there's two this size and one is a little bit bigger. I think it's a two, a one foot by 24 foot is what the middle one will be. So I will bling up the other two and we will hang it on the wall and we will give you guys a little show. So if you like the video, I'm sorry it's long. That's the thing when you're when you want to show everybody everything, not skip through parts. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. And yeah, if you like what you see, give it a share. And I will put at the end a little clip of hopefully, hopefully I'll put a clip at the end with three of them on my wall. I'll talk to you later. Love you guys. I'll see you in the next one.